Hi, Steve Von Brand here for the Bass College. It's uh, 29 degrees, so it's going to go up to maybe 45 today. We've got a 15 mile an hour wind. Uh, temperatures are dropping like crazy. The water temperatures were in the low to mid 50s just a few days ago when we were at Knoxentown. Now they're down to the mid to upper 40s and dropping even more, I'm sure, after the next seven days where we have nights that are down below freezing every single night with highs of only 40. But we're going to see what happens. We're going to go out and throw dirty jigs with Grande Bass Mega Claws trailers, and we're going to flip them in all the laydowns and docks, and we're going to see what happens, maybe throw some rattle traps, see what we can get. So I'll see you guys in a minute down on the water here. There we go, and a man's baby one minus. Set down his mouth, man's baby one minus. Cranking out here in the middle, uh, temperatures 33 degrees, water temperatures dropped 17 degrees in the last uh, 24 hours. Nice. All right, let's get him off and see if we can get another one here. here. We go, nice one on the man's baby one minus. Out here, 33 degrees, air temperature, uh, maybe up to 35 maybe, 33 to 35. Water temperature dropped uh, 17 degrees. Nice bass, almost three pounds. All right, there he goes. The air temperatures I think up to maybe 34, 35 degrees now. Water temperature dropped 17 degrees. Boy, he inhaled it too. It's all the way down, any. Man, that's really deep. Can't believe he inhaled it that deep. Water being this cold, hit it pretty hard too. I was shocked how hard uh, he hit it for water being this cold. But uh, he's really hooked. There we go. Man's baby one minus came up and smashed it right at the boat. Right at the boat as I was getting ready to lift it out of the Got water. Out. He swiped at it. Look at it did. Look at that. He swiped at it and it caught him right in the side of the face. Got it in his mouth and on the side of his face because he swiped at it right as you brought it out of the water. Almost had it lifted out of the water when he hit it. All right, well, it's time to get out of here. That's about all I can take. Uh, it's just the temperature went up to about, I guess, 38 or 39 degrees now at 12 o'clock. I worked all the shores. I threw rattle traps, all different sizes and colors, and I threw different crankbaits and chatterbaits at them, and then I went to soft plastics. I threw jigs into laydowns and off the points and secondary points, and it's just freezing cold. My, I, my hands are so numb, I just I can't even feel the line or the baits when I bring it in. So. I'm getting out of here. We've got snow coming and ice and uh, high winds and the temperatures are going to drop even more tonight and tomorrow and Monday. So until this is over and it starts back up on a warming trend, um, you guys will just have to talk to me there on the forums because uh, this is the last bit of fishing I'm going to do for about four or five days at least. It's just too darn cold. You can you can force a few to strike here and there. I caught another small bass and a chain pickerel that I didn't film, but it's just not worth it. Uh, I mean, unless you're fishing for money, guiding, or you're going to pre-fish, or you've got a tournament that's going to pay you something that you're going to go to, it's not worth it because it's just not fun. And when it's for fun, it's time to go home when it's like this. So. Until next time, this is Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College. Don't forget to stop in the site. If you uh, purchase anything from Tackle Warehouse or Bass Pro Subs, just check, it our, check on our free bait section because we give free baits with all our orders. So until next time, I'll see you down on the water.